the downturn in the economy, which is underway. Uh, we see rising unemployment. We see falling job numbers. We see a record um, office vacancy rate. Uh, we have not recovered from the pandemic transformation. It is costing us. If you know how long-term leases in commercial buildings work, you know it takes years to unwind uh, leases that typically run for five or 10 years. Right now in Washington, and believe me, I know, it's understood that most of these sanctions failed. They didn't do what they set out to do. The ruble isn't collapsed. Russian GDP is in better shape now than it was last year or the year before. The price cap on oil is an utter dead letter. I could go on, but the list of failures suggests a bigger problem. And I would argue it is not being willing to come to terms with a changed global situation that's getting more changed with each passing day. Yeah, and I know this is an issue with uh, bureaucracies where people maybe aren't willing to say the truth. And, you know, there's this concern that if you sort of give a opposing opinion, you'll be ostracized. And I'm sure you know, you've know you maybe experienced that because you've uh, had very different yes, opinions. That's very perceptive of you. I believe that's the problem here. Uh, for example, in our election race, given the way we organize our politics in the United States, neither the Republicans nor the Democrats want to be in position to have to say anything of the sort I just said. It is not fashionable to recognize problems, no matter how big they are. And if you can't blame your opponent for them, then you pretend they're not there. And it's very hard to blame Mr. Trump for the collapse of the United States in the world economy. And it's pretty much equally difficult to blame Mr. Biden. These are developments that have much deeper roots, have been going on for longer than either of those two folks have been in dominant political positions. They don't want to do it. Well, the same thing could be seen, for example, with the war in Afghanistan. American military leaders knew years and years before the United States withdrew, that that was a hopeless failed effort. The Taliban won that war and they won it long before the United States left. Eventually, a new administration, Mr. Biden's, pulled the troops finally out because the embarrassment was becoming too grotesque. But the truth of it was, both before Mr. Biden and with Mr. Biden, uh, with Mr. Trump, with Mr. Bush, with Mr. Clinton, they mostly knew, they really did, and Mr. Obama for sure, but they couldn't risk it. Well, we have that in foreign policy with wars, but we also have it domestically now.